Lesson 6, Adding a Subreport Adding a subreport to your report is much like adding a data region. You use the toolbox window to add a subreport, and then position the subreport in the report body. A subreport can be freestanding in the report, or it can be nested inside a data region. Nesting a subreport allows you to display data from a dataset that is not associated with the data region, and thus is an especially useful feature when you want to provide supporting details that are stored in a separate data source from the summary information. You can even pass a value to the subreport to control the subreport's behavior when it executes or is rendered. Part 1, Creating Views Open SQL Server Management Studio and create vCars and vTransactions view. Part 2, Creating a Main Report On the File menu point to New, and then click Project. Click the Report Server Project Wizard. Create the data source. Select Make this a shared data source and click Next. Build the query. Choose the report type, click tabular and click next. Type the URL and click next. Type the report name and click Finish. Part 3, Creating a Second Report
in Solution Explorer right click reports and then click add new report. Use the shared data source and build the query. Type the report name and click finish. Format the sales date field and value field. Save all changes. Part 4 Nesting a sub report in a table. Open the sub report and create new parameter. Type parameter name, prompt, select the hidden option and click OK. Right click the data set and click the data set properties. Then modify the query. Click the Parameter tab and Map Parameters. Click OK. Open the main report. Click the table, right click the detail row, and then click Insert Row below to add a new row. Select Row and merge all cells. In the toolbox window, click sub report, and then click the empty detail row. Right click the sub report, and then click sub report properties. Click sub report in the use report as a sub report drop down list. Click the parameters tab and then click add. Click Parent Model in the Name drop-down list, and then click Model in the Value drop-down list. Click OK. Save All. Click the green arrow to preview the report. Change the sub report title.
Add new row to main report. Merge cells and change the background color. Save all and run the report. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit learnwithvideotutorials.com